When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she. Fresh face in the cut. Something of a rarity these days. Sigouli's painting progresses, I see. What does the Outlander want? I'm looking for Skuli. You found her. Come, come. Let's get it over with. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land, ever changing. It's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments, like none have seen. Araya said you could help me get the Werak's attention. Araya works in strange ways. But I've drunk paint to survive in a blizzard, so I'm one to talk. I'll get you noticed. If you bring me the pigments I need to complete my work. Araya said you two were friends. I paint about what I feel now, not the way things used to be. Araya understood. Most Banuk didn't. I would have been exiled if she hadn't had Aratak take me into their Werak. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. These pigments you want, where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are called to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings, or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others, like mine, are a call to the tribe. You could say, inspiration or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen, if the painting is loud enough. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward, but I'd reward you as well. to defeat them, Banakai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she went. Oh. 
spill them, even if they're stuck in a sheet of ice. That'll keep my stomach quiet. It's still functioning. If I could bring that tall neck back from the dead, it'd get noticed. Knock one of those over. They're built to last. Encased in ice. It fell a long time ago. The scavengers have just gotten started. of the scavengers. Should scan the tarmac. See how deep the damage goes. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even activate it. Put a work inside its head.
heavy. I need this. to me.
shell almost feels like some of the nuke were protecting it. This tall neck was probably holy to them. in better shape than it was. jump onto the tall neck from here.
have no more speed. Oh. I think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. friend, the rock painter. Seems paintings mean a lot to the Banuk. Peace and harmony. Damon's markings are... Business arrangement. I wish you good fortune. What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental, so I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago, and I'm starting to worry about them. Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this, really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with the nuke. The shamans work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella. Standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But hammer to steel, it's not a happy story, whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. I'm not a debt collector, Burgrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. 
But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. the trees.
somebody wanted him. He only blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the din? <laughs> Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of the lock positions. Helpful. Getting in here without it. I should be able to intake tower and function. Manage system offline. It looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Oh, someone made a mess of this. Hmm. I had the right points. I bet I could get it working again. Check the area with my focus, maybe. Hard to see anything, but this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. forced his way through here. just made me. <laughs> For a moment I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope. Nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. 
And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... from wherever she'd gone to that time, I remember holding it. Staring into its face. And seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of the bell by Undertook after the plane. <laughs> Too prepared. You don't suppose? Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There! You should be able to lower the gate! Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Oh, no. Lock this thing in place! Exactly where you need to go, and no further. Somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that 
Brickety resting platform. It's too strong. I can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. Thanks, I think. Of water. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Then climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. straight to the counter route from here. But I could climb higher, but I won't. No! The problem is too hard, girl! Oh! <laughs> you 
Going down. Got it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. Founding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then. Uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Huh? Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. What's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? We drained this enough water, so what we need to do is that. Should we have a look? I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Could be something around that my focus will see. I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mom and I used to.
what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. We drained enough water for what we, we have, have a to look? do, but I wonder if I pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. For nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. Looks like I'm on the right track. There. One step closer. down below. Of course, that storage room still awaits our perusal. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mom and I. What, um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. 
Must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh. By the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. It's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ah, you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. You go on ahead. Sounds like the basin is I'm gonna stand right, right here and bask yeah, in okay. our victory. Lower. And going by that sound, I think Laula is already at the bin.
must be the entrance to this den. What you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters, not just for myself but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Let's see, what shall I play next? The echoes are different, but... 